In this video, we're gonna be looking at the five reasons why someone can fail a driving test in the first 30 seconds of starting the test. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future driving related videos. So the first reason why someone can fail a driving test in the first 30 seconds is not knowing how to start a car. So this is something that can actually happen on your driving test, especially usually like examiners, they ask people to put the car in pre-ignition, but not to start the car yet. But remember when you put the car in pre-ignition, it does not mean that the car has started. And if you put the car in drive and try to move off without the car on, the car is not gonna go. And usually what happens when a lot of students see that the car is not moving, they now realize that the car is not on and they try to start it. Now, when you're trying to start the car and it's already in drive, the car actually is not gonna start. So remember that the car can only start if it's in park or if it's in neutral. And if you are driving a manual car, remember that some of the vehicles you actually need to crash down to be able to start the car. So if you're driving a car which you are not familiar with, it's important that you, you know how to start that car and also you are familiar with that vehicle. The second reason why people fail the driving test in the first 30 seconds is not wearing seat belt. So at the start of the driving test, if you don't put on a seat belt, you can actually fail a driving test straight away. So whenever you get inside the car, make it a habit, always put on a seat belt. And especially on the driving test, a lot of people are very nervous. So it's important to remember that you have to put on the seat belt the moment you get inside the driver's seat. The third reason for failing a driving test in the first 30 seconds is not closing the door. So this is something that again can happen on the driving test. If you get inside the car, you want to make sure that you close the door because if you try to move off with the door open, the driving examiner is actually going to fail you for that. The fourth reason for failing a driving test in the first 30 seconds is moving off without carrying out observations. So some of the driving test will start inside the driving test center which means that you'll be in the car park whenever you're moving off make sure you do your indicating you look around before you move off also some of the driving tests they actually start on the side of the road so it's important that you remember that even if there is nothing behind even if there is like a wall behind you or maybe there is a fence behind you if you've parked your car on the side of the road whenever you are moving off indicate check your mirror and do a blind spot check to your right before you move off if you don't do those things the driving examiner now is gonna fail you straight away. The fifth and final reason why someone can fail a driving test in the first 30 seconds is not removing a handbrake. So when you drive and you don't remove the handbrake, usually what happens is the car will activate a warning sound and that sound will keep going and if you don't do anything within the 10 seconds, usually the driving examiner is gonna kind of like give you some hints. If you don't figure it out within 20 seconds, 30 seconds, the driving test is going to be terminated. So the car usually display, it also display a warning in the dashboard. So when that comes on, it's important that you recognize what that is. And usually that is the seat belt, the handbrake, or it can be a door. But usually with the seat belt, most of the time there is zero tolerance for moving off without wearing a seat belt. So it's important, even the door, those red uh, signs, they shouldn't be displayed in the dashboard. So before you move off, seat belt should be on, the doors has to be closed, and also the handbrake has to be down. So as you can see there, it's actually quite easy for someone to make a mistake even within the first 30 seconds of starting a driving test. And if we can summarize all of these examples, 
it's actually it's a combination of being nervous and a lack of knowledge about the vehicle. So when you're learning how to drive, make sure that you don't ignore the basics as you progress, because those basics, they will be tested as well on the day of your driving test. Thank you for watching the video. And if you enjoyed watching the video, you can give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave the questions in the comment down below. See you in the next driving related video.